My name is Ted Seth Jacobs and I want to talk first on this video about the principles that are involved with the painting and drawing that I've evolved uh, over the years and I, I hope you'll find them very useful. Uh, these are the principles that I've evolved. There's what I call uh, families of related shapes. That means that shapes are not exactly the same presumably because the shapes are linked to function but similar. For example, you have a family of uh, cheek shapes, a family of tip of the nose shapes. I think that makes it easier to, uh, for packaging purposes to uh, put all those things in a small space. We have also what I call suturing. It's how these uh, endings are connected. One form, how it's uh, laced together or bound together, sutured into the next form. They don't just collide abruptly. All the forms on the body are um, travel across what I call, or long pardon, what I call pathways. They're arranged in certain curved lines that twist around the body in three dimensions, on the surface, then under, then they come up again in uh, twisted uh, movements. Then also nature has uh, on the body certain what I call building blocks. There are certain shapes that are repeated to um, support the same or similar functions. Weight support systems, weight support arches, what I call sconces. They're again uh, kind of weight support systems. They're what, what we call uh, like pincers, the kind of things that grip onto another form, one form that grips onto another. They're kind of basic building block shapes that are repeated, repeated throughout the body. Also, I think that each human being has a kind of a portraitistic uh, ratio of uh, wide to narrow and where the wide places and narrow places occur on the body. Some, for example, are short and wide, others are long and thin. Some people have a widest place uh, up high, then it narrows down. Others, the wider places, lower down and narrows going up and so on. I think, think of these as uh, portraitistic algorithms that seem to generate the same type of shape over the body. Then we have also uh, the nature of gesture. Gesture means the physical expression of an intention to do something. And action now creates uh, what I call active and passive sides. The muscles on the body are paired. When one set works, the other is uh, at rest or stretch, stretched around corners. And uh, lastly, we have what I call the hidden curve. Throughout the whole body and throughout all the parts of the body, from, uh, from the mind spreading out through the body, out to the fingertips, to the toes, all through the body, there's what I call a, a hidden curve. All the forms on the body are arranged along these curving uh, forces through the body. And nothing is arranged on a straightness. Those are the uh, uh, basic principles that we work with.